Hi, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Shanna with Boho Boutique. I wanted to share with you today how to get your piece ready for either the chalk style paint or the one hour enamel, especially if you're painting over the dark wood like I am here. Proper prep is absolutely necessary to make sure that these dark wood finishes don't bleed through. Red mahogany especially will cause the finish to become super pink. And my customer and longtime friend wants these to be white, super, super light gray, almost white. So we certainly don't want to deliver these back to her with a pink finish. So let's show you how to do the proper prep to make sure this doesn't happen to you. So the first thing that I do after removing the hardware, of course, is to use a sanding block or some sanding paper to do, to do a really good scuff sand on the entire piece. You're getting rid of any kind of loose stuff that's on there, you're smoothing out the surface, and you're getting it ready for the primer, giving it a nice grippy surface to stick to. Next, I clean it really well. I prefer to use um, the Green Easy. They make a degreaser that's really great. This is a bottle of their furniture stripper. Um, amazing stuff if you ever need to strip something down all the way. Um, but the, the degreaser bottle looks similar to this. Um, I used all mine up because I love it so much. But basically, it's concentrated, so it has to be diluted. It's just an old spray bottle. So I've diluted it down with some water, and I've given it a good cleaning. And when I talk about a cleaning, I'm talking about Scrub it down a little bit. You're getting off some grime. You're, you're getting rid of some slick um, surface that might be there. Um, this, is, this is all important steps you don't want to skip. But lastly, you want to rinse with water. Um, any soap residue left on the surface is going to cause the paint to crackle. The primer can't do its job if the soap residue is there blocking it from sticking to the piece. So I always use um, just plain water, spray it down, wipe it, and most of the time I do it twice. And as you can see, even with just the water after it was already cleaned, you can see that old stain coming off. So very important to rinse it afterwards as well. So we've said before in previous videos that the Wise Owl Chalk Synthesis paint will stick to nearly anything without a primer. However, if you're going to paint with white or a light color over a dark stained wood like this table behind me, you're going to want to use the stain eliminating primer first. Next we're ready for our Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer. The color gray that we're gonna be using for this piece is super, super light, and our gray primer just happens to be very close to the color we're gonna be painting it, so it worked out great. Um, we do have the primer in white. We have it in clear if you plan to distress and you wanna be able to see the wood through without the bleed through. Um, and we have a dark gray for under medium to dark tones, but this light gray is actually perfect for the color paint that we're gonna be using. And so that's what we're gonna be doing. It kind of looks white actually. Um, basically, I am going to do two coats of the primer on here and I'll do a light sand in between coats to make sure that there's minimal brush strokes with our finish. Now we have to wait for paint to dry. You guys know how much I love that part. While we're waiting for the primer to dry on that little piece, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one over here primed as well. Love to multitask. Okay guys, so I'm back really quick. Forgive me because I got impatient waiting for my paint to dry, so I started doing yard work and the yard looks fabulous, but um, now I don't. So anyway, I wanted to show you really quick the primer is actually working. Um, and sometimes people will freak out when they start to see the bleed through on the primer and it's I get a lot of messages um, oh my gosh you know this primer's not working the the stain is bleeding through anyway don't freak out the primer's just doing its job so I'm gonna flip this around really quick. this is the top of that table we painted and as you can see hopefully you can see there's a little bit of pink showing through well, that is the primer doing its job. It's literally trapping that pink bleed through into that layer of primer. Okay, so you can see here where I've done a second layer of primer, and this is why I always do a second layer, because the primer is gonna do its job, and while I know this primer is really amazing and I trust it completely, I always do second coat because there might be spots that I missed, so human error in application. 
Um, the primer itself, you can see here, is trapping the stain, it's doing its job, but because I may have missed a spot, I always do a second coat for that reason. So I wanted you to see if this happens to you, um, it's not that your primer isn't working, it's that it is. And you can kind of, you know, I like to tell, I like to tell people, you can literally see your primer working. This is what I mean. So you're going to see this pink bleed through, but it's trapping it so it won't go any further than the primer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my second coat of primer here, and then we'll be back tomorrow to paint our piece. Okay guys, we've got our piece all primed, and we're ready to put on our one hour enamel in bone. And as you can see, it's a very, very light gray color, which is why we spent so much time doing the prep work. Because this piece, if you remember, was a red stained mahogany piece. And if you can look here, you can still see some of that pink bleed through here in those layers of primer. But I'm 100% trusting that this primer has done its job and trapped those stains in those layers of primer. And I have no reservations moving forward with our enamel. So I'm going to go ahead and get this painted. I'll put two coats on it and then I'll show you the results. Hi guys, so like I promised, the primer worked and it trapped all of those red bleed through tannins right into the layers of primer. I'm going to show you the top so you can see, no pink! Okay, so when you see the pink or whatever other stain you have going on bleeding through the primer, um, again, don't freak out. It's the primer doing its job and it will trap those stains in the primer. Always make sure though that you go through those additional prep um, steps ahead of time though with the scuff sanding and the cleaning and always do two layers of primer. That way you know for sure you are not going to have any bleed through when it comes time to put the enamel on. So we've got two layers of enamel on here. It's looking gorgeous. But we're going to give it a slightly weathered look with the black walnut glaze. Um, I'll demonstrate how to do that now. Super simple. With the one hour enamel, the, the surface is already nice and slick, so the glaze just glides right onto it. If there was more details in this piece, you could certainly get glaze down into the details and then wipe off the surface to have kind of a, a, a contrast between the details and the raised areas. Um, but this is just kind of a flat surface all the way around. So we're just going to use the glaze to add um, kind of a weathered, distressed look all over the piece. We're just going to put it on evenly all over. There's going to be no wiping back. Um, and then we're going to let it dry. Then we're going to seal it with a clear coat and then we're going to be all done. So stay tuned for the finished look. Okay guys, so this whole thing's been glazed and the last step is going to be just to seal it all with the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear Formula in the satin. That way it will have that same satin sheen that it had before we put the glaze on it and um, it'll still have that protection of the one hour enamel. Okay guys, so there you have it. Don't skip on the prep work when it comes to painting over old pieces, old finishes, or dark stained wood. The Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer will block all of those wood tannins and previous stains from bleeding through and ruining your finish. And it also creates a super grippy surface for your paint so that your finish stays durable for much longer. You can find all things Wise Owl on our website at bohoboutique24.com and as always, thank you for watching.